welcome back to my channel and to another travel vlog. We are in Paris. Bonjour from Paris. Oh my goodness. I forgot how quick the Eurostar is. We boarded it this morning from London. We got this uh, 801 from St Pancras to Garden Ord and we literally got off the train, walked 10 minutes to our Airbnb and we're here. Uh, bonjour, ça va? There we go. So this is our little Airbnb. So Zara booked this. It's really cool. It's quite compact, but it's really clever what they've done with the space. It's a bit Scandi, bit Japandi, I think they've called it. So minimal. yeah, minimal, very minimal. You blend in. So clever it's use of we oui. uh, use of storage. This is the little bed area. It's a nice sliding door. How cool is that? There is a very nice kitchenette here with coffee machine. Got a little sink going on, microwave, fridge I'm gonna guess. Ah, there's a wine store literally what we just walked past. Oh my god Zara, there's like loads of bits and bobs in here already good to go. And then yeah, bathroom through here. It's very compact but it's absolutely cracking. So yeah, we're on the seventh floor so we've got some lovely views. Um, but yeah, this is a little area. So we're here over the bank holiday weekend so we've got Friday which is today, Saturday, Sunday and then a little bit of Monday morning so it's going to be an absolute joy. So strap yourself in for what will probably be a very chaotic 72 hours in Paris. It won't be chaotic. Really? No, we're not doing that yet. I think it's going to be very chaotic. <laughs> oh, it's good to be back. Very good to be back. Beyonce, Beyonce, happy to be in Paris. I'm <laughs> we made it to the Sacre Coeur. Wow, we are we are in walking distance. It's literally like eight minutes from our apartment. That's amazing. I'd like to also stress. <laughs> I'm sure you'll tag it or link it. But What's our that? Airbnb is oh. so affordable. Yeah, well, when we booked it, it was. It might be yeah, more expensive for you to book it now. But yeah, we did this. This whole trip's going to be pretty much on a budget. Um, so yeah, you won't be getting lavish luxury from this vlog, but. That's just us in it. So yeah, we're gonna have a little walk up. And there's a lovely coffee shop not too far from the top, so um, we're gonna see if we can grab a little coffee in there. I mean, there's loads around here, but it's nice to go back to the one that we really enjoyed. What a beautiful view. <laughs> a nice view of the bins. <laughs> wow, we weren't expecting to be able to see much with the clouds but it's actually not too bad it's quite humid but um, no rain out of yet which is good oh we've got the sacra curve behind us chiming away must be quarter past yeah quarter past 12. guys probably everyone knows this but we didn't know there was a funicular here at the sacra curve we just tried to go into the restaurant we had breakfast in a few years ago four years ago actually but um it was quite full so we're just gonna have a little wander and see what we come across it's weird because it's midday here but it's kind of like 11 uk time so we're not really fully hungry for lunch yet <laughs> So I thought the chimes were coming from the Sacre Coeur over here, but it's not. It's actually coming from a church bell, which is just on the other side over here. Wow. Didn't know that. There we are. I'm learning lots of stuff today. Zara's on map and duty, so I'm trusting her entirely. Oh my god, it is very busy. Wow. Paris in August. It is thriving. Lots of lovely little restaurants that we don't actually remember being here last time. Looks nice. Little seafood over here. Wow. We're just having a little wander and seeing if anything catches our eye for lunch. Honestly, Paris just wins for the most little cute eateries and restaurants. Just, oh, stunning. Beautiful restaurants around here too. So we left the Montmartre area and Sacre-Cœur. It was very, very busy and I think because we are slightly more conscious of like tourist areas and tourist prices, we like to air slightly out of the busier area. It's just something we always do. So we come to a place called La, La Nazir, um, which is really lovely. It's again, not too far from um, Sacre Coeur. It's really nice. We've ordered a bottle of Provence. <laughs> A half bottle, it's a small bottle. Start as you mean to go like on. Bottle, right? It does look like a bottle, it probably is. Would you like to do the honours? I know, and I said no. There we are, merci. Oh god, we are in France. Let the good times commence. We did just feel a little drop of rain as well, so we just ducked under the little parasols, and then, um, yeah, here we are. La Nazir in Montmartre. Oh, there is nothing better. There is nothing better. Rosé. Salty French fries, the cheese toasty and salad. Bon jour. <laughs> I 
Lunch was delicious and we've ordered ourselves a little espresso. Honestly, I think just the pace of Paris to just sit and take in and do a little people watch is rather lovely. The croc madame are croc madame, aren't they? Zara's currently googling a Sephora as uh, she needs a top up on her makeup. We do actually have a Sephora in London now, but it's not really close to where we are. It's in um, Westwood, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I went past it and there was people queuing, but I need powder and I really want a Kylie lip kit. I'm about seven years late. That's Kylie Jenner, um, who is part of the Kardashian family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I think people would know. We've just finished up lunch and now we're having a look at this little um, shop. I spotted it over the road. It's called Alamea de Familia. It's a, established in 1761 and it just caught my eye. How amazing does this look? They've got chocolates, confectionery and ice cream. Oh, I mean seven euros for one tart, but you know that would be delicious. Financiers and palmiers. Wow. Heaven. They've got all of the candied fruits. <gasps> Wonderful. Anyway, onwards. Get Zara's makeup. Okay, what a gorgeous little restaurant. I mean, if that doesn't emulate France more, I don't know what does. And there's a little boulangerie here, one euro twenty for a baguette. That's more like it. And in ever Zara's expertise, I like the fact that the bread's called T I T I. It's bread made for me. You take the lass out of South London, but you kind of take South London out the lass. <laughs> If you can, can, can. We've arrived at the Moulin Rouge and um, yeah, we are contemplating getting tickets but it is very expensive so I think we're gonna hang fire. But uh, it will be a nice evening, I'm sure. One of our favorite things to do is come into European H&M because their home stuff is always so good. Like none of this we actually have in England, which is always lovely. I really like them. You know what the shape reminds me of? The chip cup from Beauty yeah, and the Beast. Beast. I saw that. So I was just spotted these candles as well. How cool are they? They're the candlesticks. I don't know how much they are for a They've got them in the... Oh, they come in pairs. Oh, nine pounds. Oh, that's kind of steep. These little dishes are quite nice as well, funky patterns. So we've came into Galleries Lafayette, we visited the department store in Nice, but we found the one in Paris. Look how incredible this is for a department store. It puts suffrages to shame, it makes it look modest. Look how huge. Oh my God, guys, honestly, I'm lost for words. Honestly, this is what I mean about Paris just being so beautiful. Look at that. I don't even know what that is. Anyway, Zara got her makeup. Why don't you match your bag? <laughs> Very French. So we just took a little coffee break in a little uh, practice on the corner just to plan for some things for tomorrow. It's saw this beautiful hotel, the Chateau Voltaire Hotel. How gorgeous is that? The woman in Pret gave us free coffee. We never get that in London. Have you ever had that in London? No, and I smile so hard at them yeah. all the time. Like, go on. The French, I'm the one you're gonna give out today, never. Not to be stereotypical, but usually the French don't really like I mean, like they're known to be in Paris, quite like blunt. So that was quite nice. She was so anyway, kind to me. Yeah, we've just booked tickets to go to the Louvre and also um, the, up the Arc de Triomphe on Sunday. So you've got to book ahead because obviously it's so busy. Um, things get booked up super quickly. So yeah, that's the plan. There is a bookshop, we will go. This looks amazing. Le Berry d'Elemont. It's all going to be in French. Of course, they might have some English titles though. Looks like such a gorgeous store. I love the idea of framing a vintage postcard. Some of these are so lovely. Like, I just, I don't know, I just feel like it just looks so nice. I love that one. Just the women dancing in the Eiffel Tower. Some hours have passed, we've came back to the room um, just to have a freshen up. Obviously we woke up at 5am this morning, which actually isn't too early, but I just thought it would be nice, well Zara did as well, just come back, recoup, have a shower, fully showered, re 
put some skincare on just to try and feel somewhat more alive. And gone for a black t-shirt, which is not very summery, but it's very fitting of Paris. So obviously I did mention earlier about doing Paris on a budget. Uh, just for any other reason, Paris is a very expensive city and our Eurostar tickets we booked the months in advance. Similarly, this Airbnb we booked it months ago, so it's all worked out really, really affordably. And we kind of want to keep that consistent with being here too. So dinners will come with like 30, 30 to 40 euros per main course, which is, even by London standards, a lot. It's not right. It's not right, and it shouldn't be right, especially for the food. Like, I get like fish is expensive, steak's expensive, but like vegetarian food shouldn't be that price, no matter how good it is, in my opinion, anyway. So, we, Rosara's well, found us at an Asian restaurant to go to this evening, which is really near the Eiffel Tower. So, we thought we'd go to that, and I found some lunch places tomorrow that we can try out. Uh, that seem to be somewhat affordable, too. And uh, obviously, we've booked things to do tomorrow as well. So, sandwiched in between grabbing maybe a bite to eat on the go for lunches and that kind of thing, it should be all right. So, yeah, that's that's the plan. So we've just hopped off the metro and we are just crossing the um, bridge towards the Eiffel Tower, which is just peeping through there. Um, this is the Princess, Lady Princess Diana Memorial, just there, the eternal flame. Crossing over now, and doesn't Sarah look amazing in her pink trousers? Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. <laughs> We are out for dinner and this is the restaurant that we found. Well, I found it's called Chesney. And I'll leave it in down below if you this good, but it smells amazing. And the best thing about this restaurant is that it has a new coffee apple to literally just see the end of the street. You can see that. <laughs> it's there, trust me. We've ordered a glass of rosé and we've got a glass. A bowl of rosé. We've ordered a bottle of rosé. And uh, we've got rice noodles and green beans and rice. Okay, food has arrived. We've got the fried vermicelli noodles and some vegetable fried rice. This fried rice is delicious. It is so, so good. I know we're in France, but it's the joy of Paris. It's got so many different cuisines. Wow, look at that. Finishing the night. Oh, the night is only just beginning. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like I need to debrief about dinner. The dinner? Was delicious. This is what I mean about being slightly more savvy. So, for three plates of really good, generous portions. Oh, thank you for the lighting. Um, some noodles, rice, green beans, a bottle of rosé, bottle of water. Thirty-five euros each, which is not bad going at all. I know I'm mentioning prices and stuff, but I just think it's like important to be a bit more savvy when it comes to these cities. Zara wants to be an Insta girly and take some photos next to the Eiffel Tower, so I'm happy to oblige. I actually don't care. <laughs> Can we just appreciate the fact that my hair this evening, I used to do ballet as a kid. I've had to send my mum a picture. I don't think my hair has ever been in this position it's on nice my head though. since I was about Hang on, wait, this nine. light is doing you the day. Two seconds, let me change this. It's still very orange. I think it's just because we're illuminated by the tower. But everything, all the lighting here is orange. It's yeah, nice. I had to send a picture to my mum and she replied and said, Where's your hair next? It's very, this is also something Zara picked up today. I was convinced it was swimwear. It's not. <laughs> So yeah, this is my, this it's, is what I used to nice. wear to ballet with blue eyeshadow and red lipstick. Can oh. you imagine the horror? No, I actually in can't. Tutu. Blue eyeshadow. Anyway, we're, um, we're going to the, um, the tower. This is what happens when we have three G&Ts and it's 1am. <laughs> When we're dancing through Paris Oh, what a feeling When she's dancing through Paris I'll we'll catch you guys in the morning Whether we go for a run or not I... I pack running trainers but who knows Good morning everyone So it's Saturday and um, we just had a few gin and tonics last night which was really lovely. Zara had rosé. Uh, we went to the Hoxton which was so nice but I've woken up with a slight 
headache, so we're having. We've also woken up with a message from the barman. I think oh that's gosh, probably yeah. the funniest part. I woke up this morning and I was like, oh, how strange. Someone's message me on Instagram. The barman. The barman. So basically, I am. Um, I was recommended to go to the Hoxton. We've obviously got them in London. They're really, really nice. And we didn't really know what we were walking into. And that was going to be super chill bar. It ended up having like a really good DJ, so we were like, just having a really nice time. Uh, and then obviously we were just like dancing, it was really fun. And then yeah, the barman decided to message Sarah on Instagram because she tagged them in a story. <laughs> As you, anyway, we've come to a place called Carter, which does very good croissants apparently. Apparently the best croissants in Paris. So um, they do look very good. How are they? They're nice, let's try it. Oh my god. I'm so happy. <laughs> I've said what we're doing. We're going to a flea market this morning. Apparently it's Paris's biggest flea market, so there we go. So we've arrived at the um, flea market. It's quite big, it's quite sparse as well, so it's nicely laid out. We're just gonna have a little wander. We're not overly in the market for anything, but it's just nice to browse. I said online the best time is to come on a Saturday because it's when all of the vendors are here. It's kind of similar to Portobello in, um, in London. Aladdin's cave, this is incredible. Oh my god, these chandeliers are magic. Guys, who remembers when I was sharing this drinks cabinet with some home sense? I feel like this is an actual original one. Maybe the home sense one was a replica. <gasps> Okay, so we're back into the centre of Paris and we're at the Grand Palais, um, which is, oh actually no, it's the Petit Palais and then that's the, oh the smaller palace as well, Petit is small. Um, I really need to brush up on my, my knowledge, but um, yeah, we are going to have a little wander along the Champs Elysees. <laughs> Amazing piano player, it's so cool. Like, honestly, you heard it. I was like, I feel like I'm a like, magpie to piano sound. It was amazing. We're doing a bit of retail therapy on the Champs Elysees, so I'm telling myself I don't need anything, but I really want a macaroon. That's the only thing I want to buy today. You can't come to Paris and not have macaron. And we've heard that, I mean, Ladere is phenomenal, but Pierre Hermé is founded in Paris, so um, yeah, right, let's go on in. Pierre Hermé macaron acquired. Hi, I, Zara. <laughs> that was actually a L'Occitane and Pierre Hermé um, kind of like mashup. So it's a store that sells macaron in the middle and then L'Occitane around the outside. How cool is that? Oh my god, they look incredible. Oh, salut? Salut? Santé? I don't know. Hi. Hi. Thing where you offer him mm. like a bit and he takes half the bloody thing. I didn't take half that. Well, how am I supposed to do that? We should have got more than one. No. They are delicious. Mm. It wouldn't be a Paris vlog without the Arc de Triomphe in shot. Look how incredible it looks. Even with those grey ominous clouds behind. We're actually going up this tomorrow so I will have a better view for you guys but for now we're seeing it from the ground. So we've came into a Maison de Monde which is so bittersweet because they've actually stopped delivering to the UK now so we can only get it when we come to Europe so we always come in to have a little look but their stuff is so nice and they just really like do it well it's a very funky plate I really like that actually oh it's only $3.99 so I was just spotted this look at how much like colour and fun honestly if we had one of these in England it would be disastrous but no we just buy it all <laughs> There we are, some lovely French home purchases that we're very excited about. We've got Maggie a little dog mat too. Well, it's mainly for us, but I'm sure she'll like it. Well, we have got our crack with Nutella and a little glass of rosé. We dodged the rain because it is shutting it down. Look at that. 
When it rains in Paris, there's only one thing for it. Dig on in. Oh my god, it looks so good. So we've arrived at the 11th district. Oh, what a lovely homeware store. Wow. So yeah, this is the 11th district, so lots of eateries and um, bars around here. So we're going to be spot for choice this evening, although we have reserved somewhere beautiful for dinner. Don't you look lovely? To desire such a very nice, very Parisian. And doing it in heels, what a boss. <laughs> So we are out for dinner and we've came for an Italian, we've got a Hugo, which is one of my favourites. Um, I'll leave the restaurant link down below because it's absolutely beautiful, but it's very busy. Cheers son. Chin chin. Salute. Dinner has arrived. We've kind of swapped plates and just popped them down, so that's actually mine and this is ours. But, oh my god, this looks amazing. That truffle smells so good. So we ordered affogato for dessert. I thought it was going to be like one scoop of ice cream. It's three. And about a pint of espresso. Oops! So <laughs> we only ordered one to share. This is huge. Oh my god, this restaurant is so good. Right, dig on in. Good morning. Today is Sunday, and we just went for a run. We ran to the Louvre and back, so it was a total of about six kilometres. And um, the joy of running in Paris, amongst the absolute beautiful scenery, is that you can get beautiful patisserie and vinoise when you run back. So we just swung by a little um, little boulangerie and got two um, pan au chocolats and a freshly squeezed orange juice. We're going to have them for breakfast now. Merci beaucoup. We have arrived back at the Arc de Triomphe. We just came out of the metro. And um, last time we were here, we actually didn't realise that there was a whole underground system that meant you got there safely. And we, we did, I will openly admit, stupidly, ran across the road when it wasn't as busy. Um, but now we know not to do that, so we need to just figure out the entrance we're on how to get up. Okay, here we go, the Arc de Triomphe entrance. <laughs> how we missed this first time around, I do not know. I have pre-booked tickets as well. We booked these on Friday just because we were cautious that it was going to get quite booked up, so yeah. I think the queues are always going to be a bit crazy, but at least we have tickets this time. Zara did ask if there was a lift up the stairs, and um, no. The answer is no. Um, yeah, obviously do bear this in mind if you are planning on doing it. There are a lot of stairs at the Arc de Triomphe, so we are here. I would not have guessed that this was at the top of the Arc de Triomphe. This is incredible. There's a whole souvenir shop. Look at these arches. It's so well preserved. I feel like I want to read a little bit more about it because it's kind of blown my mind that this is still so okay. We are officially at the top. You can see so far. Isn't that amazing? The Eiffel Tower is just over there. So this is the Champs Elysees. This is obviously like the main shopping street in Paris. Yeah. It's so green and beautiful. And then way, way over there in that distance you see that little point that's the sacra curse so that's really close to where we're staying just over there so we just read the little leaflet um it's free and available and it said that it was built well fully inaugurated in 1836 so we're talking 19th century the architecture here which is so cool and the product of napoleon saying well done for the for his army and then now became a landmark how long did it say it took 36 years to build zara 30 years to build the Arc de Triomphe. changes in that time. Oh, so probably could have been quicker had not so much been going on with France and their politics. Probably makes sense, doesn't it? It's actually not too busy as well, which is quite nice. I thought it would have been really busy up here, but it's not. It makes me realise Lunch is um, takeaway with some tomatoes, some hummus and la baguette and vin rose. Stunning. And we're gonna go and sit next to the Eiffel Tower. It's actually not too bad of a day today, so eat al fresco. This is the life. This is like, what more could you really want? I'm fully acknowledging the fact that we are tourists in this city, but this is something that we would do in London. Only we'd be better prepared and wouldn't have to buy pip cups, but apart from that. They're shot glasses. Drinking rose out of shot glasses. Right, we've just finished up lunch and we are now going to head on the subway, or the metro actually. I keep on calling it the subway, I'm not in New York. 
Uh, we're gonna head on the metro towards the Louvre and we need to get there for 3.30, so we've got half an hour, which is perfect timing. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of art in the afternoon. Okay, we've made it to the Louvre, and um, yeah, we're just about to join the queue. I think, I'm not really sure which queue we join, <laughs> but there's like four, but we need the one with tickets, so yeah, I think it might be quite busy, but it closes at six, so hopefully we've missed like the, the morning rush. So we just made it inside. We were like ushered inside. Um, I think we were like slightly late, which is fine. <laughs> We're with a local French celebrity. Um, Zara just said she doesn't actually think she's been to the loop. Although, so. my memory is it like is. genuinely atrocious. I should not do anything nice in life because I forget everything. Oh, do you remember last time we were here and we went on a nice yeah. expensive dinner cruise? Oh, I remember. That's a big one. Have a nice little wander around. It closes at six, so we've got about two and a half hours. So that should be plenty of time. Um, not that I think we're going to be in here for two and a half hours, but there's a lot to see. It is somewhat busy on Sunday. It's kind of like what else do you do on a Sunday? A lot is closed, so yeah. But no, the map is useful because there is a lot to see, and obviously we don't have a lot of time, so it's nice to see, like essentially look at what you would really love to see. Because you could spend hours here. You could spend half a day here, I imagine. How was it? So disappointing. <laughs> um, so miserable. No, no. So this is just hell. We, we, yeah. I'm not even gonna get close to it, guys, because this is, this is not. No, we need to leave. This is a lot. We it ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is a lovely piece of artwork. Um, that, on the other hand, lovely but chaos. Anyway, onwards. You enjoying yourself? This isn't your thing, is it? Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, what, all I was going to say is, look, if, you, if you're into art, and I appreciate this house is some of the most famous art in the world, I think the building is more impressive. Like, I'm genuinely gobsmacked at the building. It's yeah, beautiful. I'm a property gal. Like, yeah. I'm interested in how this is... Made and preserved, and, like, that's a whole gold guild room. And, and... the maintenance of keeping this together, I would love to know. Yeah. Like, Mona. Mona was wonderful, which is tiny and overpopulated. I mean, look at the floor, it's stunning. Yeah, the house, the housing of the art is equally as impressive, if not more impressive than the art. This is what I mean, like, this is possibly one of the most opulent rooms I think I've ever been in in my life. Wow. Okay, we are back in our apartment. We have walked some crazy miles. I wanna know my steps, let me let me just check. 24,000 steps and it's only seven o'clock and we've still gotta go out for dinner. Oh, that's wet, it actually rained. <laughs> and so I came back to the apartment, we were doing some um, shopping on, uh, just out after the Louvre. Yeah, it started to chuck it down and we didn't take an umbrella. So, oh yes, it's starting to rain now. So we've, oh, so we've just touched back into our apartment. It was very busy actually, wasn't it? It was a bit overwhelmingly yeah. busy. I, I, do you know what, it was lovely. We are one of, how many tourists did they had through last year? 7.7 7 million. 7.8 million. 7.8 million people. Any day they can welcome 30,000 people. Wow, that's, I feel like it is Paris's top attraction. Um, so something to definitely consider if like a lot of crowds aren't your jam, but we booked our tickets in advance, so we got rushed through the queue, which is really good. For all of the places that we have visited so far, I will write a full comprehensive list in the description box if you are planning on visiting Paris in the near future. Um, and trust I just, what we say. Yeah, because we like food. Um, I'm really fancying a burger, uh, and Zara's getting on that hype as well, but where we walked for lunch earlier, there was a really lovely street near the Eiffel Tower. There's just some gorgeous restaurants, so we aren't booking anything this evening. We're just gonna walk past somewhere and see what takes our fancy. We're out for dinner, the most beautiful, gorgeous French restaurant. The interior is absolutely stunning. How nice this wallpaper with the little lampshade. It's gorgeous. I love the antique glass as well. We've ordered two glasses of French Provence and two burgers. And this is the name of the restaurant, it's called Le Piquet, or Piquet, I'm not sure how you say it. Very reasonably priced as well, it's just down from the Eiffel Tower, I'll leave a link down below. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot to record our mains, because we just I ate them that quickly. It was just delicious. I know we're in France, and 
we've had Chinese food, Italian food, and we've had a burger, but it was really delicious. And sometimes if you just, you've got to get what you want. But this is French. The party wants what the party wants. It does. This is very French. One of the biggest creme brulees I've ever seen in my life. It's the size of my hand. Look at that. <gasps> oh my gosh. There you go. There it is. Oh my gosh. This is where we just had dinner, Le Piquet, which was absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, put it out there, the best creme brulee I've ever had. And then next door is Souffre or Souffren. I think you say Souffren. I'm sorry, the light is awful. There we are. And this was where we were gonna have dinner, but it was very, very busy. Um, French as well. Yeah, it's like a brasserie, but very, very popular and very busy. And we just walked out and there was a golden retriever that literally just came out of that restaurant. I am so bad. Like, we always say this when we're walking with Maggie. Yeah. Or, like, especially when she was a puppy, if people would reach down and, like, yeah, they'd disturb, like, disturb, like, it interrupts training. Yeah. But I am honestly the biggest hypocrite because while I've been out here, every time I look at a dog, I'm like, oh my god, hello! How do you say a dog in French? La chair. La chien. Chien. And then it's. And then it's obviously bonjour because we kept saying hello and they oh, don't yeah, get it. Yeah, they don't get it. Bonjour and they're Whereas like, ah. Even if you say morning Maggie. Yeah, she's Maggie like, hello. So I don't think I will ever tire of that view. Like how lovely, you just morning, walk. Me. Yes. <laughs> just finishing dinner and just like seeing the Eiffel Tower, like what? It is our final day in, well, half day in Paris. Today's Monday, bank holiday in England. Not in France, which is good. We had some beautiful croissants this one. How good were they? No, they were unreal. The croissants we had yesterday, the Panache Chocolats, weren't actually that amazing, but we ran past this place yesterday, so we are like, let's try that for breakfast. So good. Uh, croissant, uh, Panache Chocolat and an espresso, three euros. We are doing a little return, because we bought some items yesterday, didn't try them on, and they don't fit. <laughs> So I'm going to hopefully exchange mine with my broken French and Zara's going to try and get a refund for hers in broken French. So what could possibly go wrong? Your eyes aren't deceiving you. That is just a giant reflective cube. It, it's so bizarre. Like, oh, I don't know. It's, I feel like only when you see your reflection, like that's us with our bag, if you can see that. It's very strange. But we're back at the Louvre now and we're just going to head to the little shopping street. Okay, our exchanges were very successful. We've now got the items that we intended to buy in the right size. But we didn't try them on yesterday because the queues were crazy. Sunday shopping day in Paris is wild. But Monday morning is much more calm. Lundi. Lundi. Today is Lundi, Mardi. no? Oui. Mercredi. Jeudi. Vendredi. Samedi. Dimanche. Dimanche. Yeah, Dimanche is Sunday. Anyway, we're walking to Angelina now and I'm practicing my French to uh, try and order. And I now I'm know that. I'm on my smile, which will just get me by in life. Bonjour, madame. Du chocolat chaud avec crème, s'il vous plaît. Go. Merci. Because <laughs> I now know chocolat chaud is hot chocolate and not chocolate mousse. I did see it in the uh, Nice vlog when I was showing my home bits. I did guess initially. This is why I doubt myself so much. I have no self confidence. Well, that was disastrous. <laughs> it's like the Louvre all over again. It was silly cues. How many people do you think that was? Maybe even a hundred? Yeah. I We're, feel like we need to preface this with the fact that we, we don't mind knew queuing. coming to Paris oh, yeah. in the summer, yeah. especially on a bank holiday weekend. It's going to be busy. That it was going to be busy. I think it's just it's when we live actually. in a busy city, yeah. We it's just not just enjoyable to come no. in and also be busy. I feel like all people think that we're we're not mourning. We're waiting for Paris to part its ways for us. No, God, of course not. I just I don't know. You expect a little bit of a queue for like the popular destinations, but that was wild. I think it just becomes too popular. We are walking towards the famous square. So this is the Ritz in Paris. Possibly I'd say one of the most famous hotels um, in Paris, to be honest. It's like the very, very fancy shopping district. This is Louis Vuitton. I mean, look at that trunk to hold watches. That is quite fancy, isn't it? It's very south of France around here. We've got Dior, Chamoulet. It's not Angelina, but we found somewhere that's absolutely stunning. It's just off of the Ritz, and um, yeah, there's a little boulangerie opposite as well, which might be quite nice to look in to get some pastries back for the Eurostar. But yeah, it's a. Yeah, we could do, get some croissants. Um, but yeah, it's a little beautiful place here. 
We are rounding up our trip with a little visit in H&M Home. Zara just spotted this and it's ginormous. It's like twice the size of the one in Regent Street. So we're gonna have a look in. What an absolute treat. Guys, we've been looking for these espresso cups for the longest time and they've been sold out in every H&M Home in London. And they now have them here. So they're actually Italian. Yeah, you looked everywhere. Yeah, I honestly, I love them. I feel like they look sort of, even though they're Italian, in an espresso um, play go. So we're gonna get to, oh, love them. So pleased about that. The store is set out so nicely. I love these little green bags. They're like bottle bags. You can do a grocery shop in them. They're so nice. They've got little slots here. Love the color of those. Very practical. Right guys, we are back in our apartment. We managed to dodge the rain just about, but we are gonna head on Eurostar now and head home. So I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Um, it's been so, so nice to just enjoy Paris. I feel like it's so good to be back. It's been four years, which is crazy. Um, everything that we've been to, everything that we've visited will be featured and linked down below. So if you are planning on coming, then you can use that as a little guide if you've seen anything that you would like to do. But thank you so much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure to take you guys along and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.